What is good you guys, welcome back to another video. Today hasn't been going recently how I planned. I tried to get a shoe today, but it didn't have it in any of the stores around my area. There was a store in particular that I decided not to go to because the drive was two hours. So I didn't want to spend four hours driving there and then back just to get a shoe. So I spent, so I spent like five hours just driving around for nothing. And I was supposed to film this video like five hours ago because today I wanted to film a video for you guys when I'm doing right now on helping you with the terms front side and back side. Now, as a beginner skateboarder, these are two terms that you're gonna be hearing a lot. Like when you're at the skate park, hearing other skaters, you know, call out a specific trick. But I'm making this video to help you guys understand the difference between front side and back side so that you can understand it a little bit better as you're growing up as a skater. So with that being said, um, yeah. Let's get to the video. So what are front side and back side? Well, front side and back side, which I said earlier, are just two terms that are used to distinguish to distinguish between uh, tricks. Now, what's the difference between front side and back side? In basic terms, front side is just doing the trick that allows you to see what you're doing. And with backside, it's just the opposite direction. It's just, you're going blindsided. So you can't really see what you're doing when doing the trick. Now, how does that work? Let's take the 180 Ollie, for example. Front side 180 Ollie. You're doing the front side 180 Ollie, but you're turning in a way that you can see how the trick is going. So, like, when you're doing the 180 Ollie, you're pretty much just turning your shoulders, like, towards you. Say you're standing from the side here, and then you're turning towards you because, like, your feet are, like, here. That's where how you're doing it. And then you're turning inwards with it. So, your toes are pointing towards the front side direction. So, that's how it's going to work out. Now, with backside, it's much different. When you're turning backside, your board and your feet are here, but you're gonna be turning the opposite direction. So your feet are gonna be turning and pointing the other direction, which means that your body is gonna be turning blindsided. So you're not gonna be able to see what you're really doing right away, if that makes sense. Hence the term backside, because you're turning into another direction which you can't see right away. So, so that's backside for you. So that's front side and back side in terms of like basic flat ground. And this applies to all other stuff. Back side big spin or front side big spin, front side 180 kick flip or back side 180 heel flip. So far it sounds simple, right? Front side and back side in terms of like 180s and like doing like 180 uh, flip tricks and stuff. But when it comes to like skating obstacles, it's a whole different thing. Well, it's not really different, but but skaters can get that kind of mixed up a little bit. When it comes to doing uh, tricks on obstacles and stuff, there are different terms for that. When you're doing a trick that involves going front side, you're approaching the obstacle, for example, the a box or a rail or whatever, or even like a ramp trying to grind the coping, you're approaching it in front of the obstacle. I'm the skater here, and this is the box. I'm going towards the box and I'm approaching it front side. And then I do the trick from here, do the 50, 50 grind and then come off. That's front side. If I were to do it backside, I'm gonna be doing it backwards. I'm the skater here, this is the box. I'm coming at it at the same angle, but if you notice, like my two front feet, like my whole backside is being exposed to, to the box or the rail which means in simpler terms, I'm behind the box. So I'm gonna be doing the trick from behind me, hence the term backside. So if I'm doing a backside 50-50, I'm gonna be approaching the box, but the whole time the box is pretty much behind me or I'm behind the box the whole time. So that's that's basically what it, what it is when it comes to skating obstacles 
with front side and back side when skating obstacles. But with some tricks, some beginner skaters can easily get that mixed up. This turn can be mixed up with uh, other tricks as well in terms of grinding uh, or skating obstacles. The prime example, which I think it is, is the board slide. The basic backside board slide is what I'm talking about. When you're doing the backside board slide, you're approaching it backside. But as you're doing it, you're doing a slight 180 in to the board slide, specifically a slight front side 180 ollie. And as you're going on it, you're gonna be board sliding, you know, forward. And when you're board sliding forward, you can see where you're going. So from there, some skaters will call it a front side board slide because they're doing a front side 180 into, into the board slide. And as they're sliding, they're sliding forward and they can see where they're going. But that's not the case. Like I said before, when you're doing the trick backside, most of your back is being exposed to the obstacle, which means you're doing the trick backside. So that would be considered a backside board slide. Backside board slide, some people would call it frontside board slide because they can see how they're sliding and it's easier. And then they would call the frontside board slide a backside board slide because with frontside board slide, you're approaching a front side in front of the rail or box or whatever you're skating and you're doing a slight back 180 into it so you're doing a slight back 180 into the rail but you're approaching the rail front side which means the rail is in front of you but as you're sliding you're sliding backwards into it which means that your whole backside is is facing how you slide and you're forced to to turn your head to see where you're going, but you know that the motion that you're feeling is that you're gonna be sliding backwards. And then from there, people are gonna say that's a backside board slide because, because they feel like when you're sliding, it's more of a backwards motion, but really it's a front side board slide because you're approaching the rail in front of, in front of you. And the same thing goes with crooked ride as well. You're approaching the backside, you're grinding forward as you're getting into it, into it, and then people will call it a front side crooked ride because they can see how they're grinding and they're grinding forward. But it's backside because you're approaching. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. But it's a backside crooked ride because, like I said again and again and again, you're approaching the obstacle backside, which most of your back is facing the obstacles or you're approaching the backside and then with the front with the front side quicker grind you know you know it's the opposite but same it's but it's the same concept and with that being said that concludes this tutorial or little guide whatever you want to call it i really wanted to film this at the skate park and show you like the demonstration on how on what i'm talking about but i couldn't because i just wasted my whole day just driving around trying to find a shoe i hope the clips that i've selected uh help you uh understand you know what i'm trying to say in terms of front side and back side and hope that this will help you understand you know doing the tricks better as you're as you're learning them and whatnot and with that being said guys that concludes the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found this tutorial or guide very very helpful or somewhat helpful if you're new to the channel leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace